Duke out. Even if he gets trashed early on, I think he can come back in because there are some squishy heroes on an SQ's lineup to, to sort of feed off. Five seconds and uh, a higher Beastmaster DJ touch. Yeah, I, I'm, I think Fnatic's got this one. I think I think Envy's actually going to have a pretty good game this time on the live stealer. Bogged. Lost in thought. Yeah, because I do like how much Mineski's have, but I think Abed's going to get such a good start from this ogre just sitting on the hill mm -hmm. that he might just go out of control. Oh my god, I don't know, I'm so torn. You know, whenever uh, Isis Isis is playing Tidehunter, and even if I'm not watching, I always find uh, my Twitter feed after the game has some extra activity. I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder why. Oh man, I think this came out. I'm going for Mineski. I do like the draft of uh, Fnatic a lot, uh, but I think the team fight might just be a little bit too much to deal with when they try to go high ground. We're going to find out though, Fog. Production has already said okay. that you were going for Fnatic. Let's find out what's going to happen in game two with Charlie Yang and Liz. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome Prepare to the uh, to the show of Good Cop and Bad Cop. I'm Good Cop Lumi. I am Bad Cop Charlie, and in bad cop fashion, I'm going to disagree. I, I wish I could be disagree as positive. Disagree with what? You're just going to disagree. Uh, yeah, I, I wish I could be as positive as Owen. Uh -huh. I don't believe in Fnatic's drafts. You just much. don't believe in Jackie Mao. You know... You just don't like him because he doesn't follow you back on Twitter. Is it? Is that what it is? Yeah. Uh, that, that's, that's what that, I'm that's, saying it that's is. That's definitely not what it is. Jackie, Jackie Mao... Uh, no, I am a big fan of Jackie Mao. Okay. You, you are incorrect. But I think he's going to have a hard time this game because... He's his lane is two melee core is two melee heroes against the Tide Hunter. Like Ice 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 is gonna have another free lane. Um and it's I think it's hard for Fnatic to actually like take that big fight uphill. Yep. Like how are they gonna end this game? I think they have a lot of like great pickoff, they can play quickly, but when it actually comes down to how they win this game, I don't see how they do it. You know, I think uh, one, one thing I do want to mention is that Mineski is one of the few teams in the world that actually draft their offlane last, right? Just to make sure that Ice 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 have a favorable matchup because he is such a big playmaker in the laning stage as well as in the mid. <laughs> and like you mentioned, they, they gave him a good lane. This is... I'm very happy if I'm Tidehunter here. Yeah. It's a great tie game. Um, I do want to mention though, when Ohio plays Beastmaster, he doesn't go for the Necro book build. Oh, at least the last time I watched him, he doesn't. He likes to go with Shadow Blade. So if he does go for the Shadow Blade again, he can, in theory, upgrade it into a uh, Silver's Edge. And that can be the answer for the uh, for the Tide Hunter. I but. guess. I mean, you, you can, sure, you'll, you'll disable Kraken Shell. You can roar him. But even then, maybe you burst him through during that. Oh, Corey Sniper in the middle lane. Got him. Okay. That is uh, very nice for Fnatic. But like I was saying, even if you do manage to, I guess, disable Kraken Shell, mm -hmm. you still have the threat of the Warlock. Sure. So it's very likely that you're not going to kill Ice 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 in a burst. Yeah. Uh, they also have the Earth Spirit kick and silence as well. Which, by the way, the Fatal Bond magnetized. We've seen it once already in Dream League. I believe we saw it yesterday. And it is an amazingly high damage combo. I believe it was actually Fnatic that, uh, that combo. Well, Moon is having a tough time mid with Pilai Dai just sitting there. Yep. I bet it is having more time than uh, Fop is having CS. Feels bad. V very, very rough. Very rough. Pi is just focusing on the Nyes, hitting, hitting his own creeps. He is getting kind of low though. He can't sit here forever. Hey, yo. Maybe hang around for one more bloodlust before he goes. What do you think about the decision to not put the Warlock mid? Just to be like, Moon, you got this lane for yourself. I mean, like you said, Mineski is a team that heavily prioritizes Ice 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 and how well he does here. Um, I think it's okay just because like this player is just so disruptive. Yep. And if you enable that, you know, that's, that's sort of like your signature style. You don't want to mess with that. Jabs, takes one rune, rolls the other way to take the other rune. Good stuff. That's you know, still continue from game one, right? That's exactly what he did in game one. Took multiple runes nonstop. A bed has double damage. Yeah, this is this is worrying because if Fnatic, I feel like if Fnatic was gonna have a good game and if they were going to end up ultimately end up winning, it was, it's gonna be off the back of Abed.
Not to say that the other player aren't playing well or doing stuff, but... This I, guy's your star. Yeah, he is truly a position one from the middle. Abed is laying in a ton of damage on the mid lane. Moon is dropping. The carry too low. Doesn't want to take that point into a leap just yet. But we might see a kill being forced out here. Moon, one blink and stream away from death. Money all simultaneously on the bottom lane. Ice, ice, ice. Dropping very, very low, but they don't want to man up on it because he does have four magic sticks. Pops us out now. Back to full HP. DJ did have a very nice snowball dodge on the anchor smash. Anchor smash is so, so punishing. Just the melee heroes. And then eventually, as Ice 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 gets higher levels of Kraken Shell and Anchor Smash, I don't think Fnatic can actually kill him. Yeah. This lane is going to get progressively worse and worse for Jackie. Progressively better and better for the time. So he better get what he can. Moon is getting absolutely bodied. Yeah, now. he really is, dude. The CS differential. I mean, ain't, ain't no Ben Hur level, but <laughs> it's, not, it's not looking great. I mean, granted, they, they had the Ogre mid. The Warlock finally came, but I think by that point, it's just a little bit too late. Look at Abed, dude. Oh, yeah, he, he's, he's got the, uh, the Magic Wand, double null right now. I Ice think... Shark flying by onto Ninja Boogie. Ninja Boogies has expended the heal on stuff. They have the Snowball, by the way, but it looks like they're not going to use it. In fact, they're gonna turn their attention mid. Drops a ward behind. Do they have fire blocks? Don't even have mana. Leaps forward. And Moon, is he gonna leap home? He just deliver himself Tango, so he doesn't want to go home. But man, this is looking super rough. And we have some action top as Mushi is getting gone on right now. Body block is coming out. They give up the Mushi kill. They go for jabs. They get neither. What's that phrase? You, you uh, try to catch two rabbits and you get nothing. Is that is that something? Cool. Is that like a Chinese That's, phrase? That sounds like a Chinese. I mean, I'm asking you. You're Chinese too. I I've never heard that that phrase before. All right. Let's just. Say I, I know there is something very similar to that, yeah. but uh, let's just say it. I don't know. All right. Sure. That sounds Confucius. But uh, Fnatic is having a much better landing phase this time around. Envy, I guess, is is actually. Uh, ahead of the Tide right now. Yep. I mean, the Tide could jungle um, Ancients much more effectively than them. And for the most part, these two are just gonna, should just trade farm. But that's better than what we expected out of the lane stage for him, right? We, we kind of expected him to suffer a little bit, but he's also doing well, so all of the cores for Fnatic is doing much better than expected. Phase boots up top already on Beastmaster. Yeah, he goes phase medallion uh, shadow blade, and he is just a menace in the enemy chest. Yeah, I think the the real important part that we haven't talked about is just how well Ohio is actually doing against this Venge. He's also microing his spore nonstop. He's gonna. Oh, okay. I thought he was gonna take the bounty and get six off of it. I mean, for the most part, he did it solo. Ohio basically outlined two heroes. Under attack. He's got his boar. That ain't so Are we counting like his boar as another That's hero? That's a spirit animal, dude. All right, but for the most part, he did it by himself. DJ right. sort of Radiant's came up there at some point, but uh, like I, I think that's the the real kicker here is just how well Ohio is doing. Yeah. I imagine if he wasn't doing it, if Mushi didn't need as much help, you would see Japs make some rotations mid. Ohio now have access to level 6, so Venge, I don't think he can even show up within rural range. No, if he shows up, he's dead. Yeah, for sure. Especially when DJ's nearby. I think the the real kicker here is just Jabs has not have, had an impact on this early game. Usually, if you want to draft Earth Spirit, like you expect him to run around, get some ganks off, apply pressure on lanes, but yep. he's just been pulling. Yeah, he's basically doing the, the bare minimum, which is pulling as well as taking runes. But you pretty much could have any support do that. You expect the Earth Spirit to make a bed feel dangerous. But he, he doesn't. Like, a bed is like, yeah, I'm CS. Dyer are scanning. Pressure on jabs, he kicks, rolls away. Really, Mushi feels trapped up here. 
three Fnatic heroes move up to go pressure him. The shards come out. Mushi's trapped. Yeah, he's gonna swap it. Look to go away. The Ravage is gonna get ported in from Ice Ice Ice, and in fact, they're gonna turn this gank around. Good bait, I guess, by Mushi. And he draws the first plus, so I guess he's right back in this lane. Good stuff. Oh, that was the four hero rotation Ravage used, though. I mean, Ravage used this early is like not that. Big of you, I guess. I mean, I guess with how much pressure is coming up, like, Ooh, mid lane. Ooh. solo kill. What, we, what did we call that? Bodied? Bodied. Downloaded? Exposed. Exposed? Exposed. I mean, Moon is definitely a very strong laner, but. Yeah, I didn't expect this kind of domination to come out. I expected Moon to get a little more. Yeah. I bet is one of the best, I guess. Feels very comfortable on that Queen of Pain right now. Top lane, Mushi letting the magic missile fly, but Ohio does have to use raindrops to block most of it. Surprised to see the lack of goal uh, on, on this bench. But I guess the last time they did try, the Ravage came in, so. Well, they don't have it now. Could they, they could apply more pressure, but they they did have, I guess, two heroes not going on the map. Jeez, Moon can't even show up in this lane. <laughs> Doesn't even have boots yet. I mean, we keep saying you know, a bed is doing really well, but a large part of it is also the fact that Queen of Pain is just more dominant of a laner compared to the Marana. So, especially when you have an over sitting yeah. on giving you blood less than stuff. Arrow, okay. One of the suns does connect. But slowly, just tier one tower is also getting Kudo down. A bed jumps right in for the moon kill. He will get it now. Jabs might be in a little bit of trouble as well. Blink, a small shadow strike, not ready to go just yet. But a bed doesn't care. Now he cares a little bit. Tower laying him in. He will have blink back up. Swap right back in the tower into a stun. Jabs survives for like five HP. Good That's stuff. Big. I mean, I, from a bed's perspective, that was a clean kill. But Mushi just shot out of absolutely nowhere. Yeah, a, a bed got a bed got a little greedy there. Um, saw saw that Earth Spirit. He's thinking, I'm like huge right now. I'm dominating this game. Yeah. I remember Blitz mentioned that Crow had called this what strongman syndrome. Okay. You just think that you're invincible and you cannot die this game. Yep. And so I think he was feeling it there. And you know, strongman syndrome is a fallacy. You can die. Well, at, at the very least, the silver lining for that play was that it did free up the top lane for Ohio to get the tower. Now Ninja Boogie rolling onto the Warlock. Body block coming right out. Ohio coming in position for the roar. Centaur, get me in there. Stop going to be there as well. Nice. Kill in the jungle here for Fnatic. And they do extend their lead. Mineski needs to pull themselves together right about now because right now... Fnatic is the big boss. Mineski is the anime kid, and they're getting rolled on. Yeah, the, the only way Mineski right now really takes a fight is with Ravage. So unless Ice 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 is there, they can't really do anything. Bar the exceptional Abed dives to the tower. They're going right into Roche, man. We are looking at 11 minutes in. As the anime gods will it, there is a double damage rune right outside for Abed to pick it up, and he is laying in next to the Medallion Courage as well as the Bloodlust. DJ up top. I, maybe you could TP out of this. No, the damage is just way too high here. They run him down, and the Ice Shard not working out again. Pretty much every single team that Eternal MV has ever been on, and trust me when I say this because I watch a lot of Jackie games, is that they love to sneak rope. Yep. In best of three series, they probably do it at least two or three times. That's, that's Jackie's calling card, these uh, sort of efficiency plays. Yeah. And uh, look like really the Mineski oh. had no idea. Was that worth? That's No, that's absolutely not <laughs> worth. When you expended a plus two minute ultimate for two ancients. Yeah, but the, you know, it's like the call out, dude. It's the flexing the muscle. It's the you, gun show, you think dude. Ice 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 is intimidated by that? Uh oh, Mushi will get intimidated by this one. Well, a little bit of help here from his ally. Mushi might actually make a swap, but the four on the left side, or the right side rather, is going to get Mushi down. Jabs did all he can for his teammate. Won't get sent to the upstairs, but, you know, didn't save his life either. 
Jackie Mao has been quietly farming away. I get net worth. Gonna finish that armlet. Ah, oh, he wants to go right into Midas. Has the uh, Helm of Iron Will on lock. All right. Good stuff. I like it because he's anticipating this game is going to go long and it probably will just because even though Fnatic has the advantage, going high ground is still probably pretty, pretty hard. Yeah. Queen of Pain, Life Stealer, none of these are exactly the best high ground hero. I, I think if Fnatic's going to win this game, they have to do it, uh, do it through a ton of hero kills. Yeah, they basically have to watch them. Ice, ice, ice. Farming the Ancient Stack with Anchor Smash. And uh, he is going for a mech after a blink. Just pick up the blink though, so far I haven't seen any good ravage attempts or opportunities. Yeah, I think for the most part Fnatic has been stayed because they pretty split around the map. This is a pretty low kill count game actually. They're gonna smoke up. I don't think there were any observer wards to see that smoke. The only time they could have used that ravage was during the Roshan sneak, but there was a sneak up bed. Need to get himself out of there. Long blink rage. Will bypass the Tie Hunter. But Tie Hunter now reveals his positioning bottom. So top kills safe to put a little bit of pressure if they want. But they will also back up. Unfortunate for Mineski, they really needed to get something there. But even so, um, I don't think Fnatic feels. Or I don't think they should feel too safe to start pushing just tier t tier twos or anything like that just on mass with five heroes yeah i don't they think do they have push. To yeah they do have to respect them. yeah they don't push quickly enough they don't. They, it's, it's kill into a push that's pretty much all they got ice 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 sitting up right next to envy for a gang meanwhile back in mid lane up dead looking maybe for a solo kill just, just harassing dagger I do appreciate how aggressively Fnatic is playing. Maybe they're not forcing kills, but they are constantly in the enemy jungle. And for a hero like Venge, who likes to let's say push out the wave and jungle a little bit, can't really do that. This is uh, dark days for Ninja Boogie right now. Position basically <laughs> six warlocks, six hundred gold. He, he's a hero that sort of, he wants to be able to take these team fights, but his team's just not ready, ready to do it. And Fnatic isn't giving him any opportunities. Do you think a team fight lineup like Mineski's loses its value when you don't have those team fights? Because right now, Fnatic is very smartly dodging it. We've been seeing a ton of Hawks flying over Ninja Boogie, like seeing his positioning, so they're not fighting into his Warlock ult. Despite the blink, Blink pickup, Tie Hunter hasn't used a Ravage since then, so despite I, all your big ults, you're not really doing anything with it. That's that's my concern for Mineski. I think it really depends on the rest of his composition as we do see. Oh, Envy smartly Go to the rages, truck. but he's still oh, no, in Yeah. I think he could have just rage TP right immediately after swap, right? Yeah, I think so too. Uh, I didn't see whether it was still on cooldown, but that was a free kill. They didn't even have to use a Ravage for that, and perhaps even a tier 2 as well. Wave, not gonna get the kill. They won't force it either. Albed might be in a tricky situation right now. But no. but uh, back to your original question of whether or not, I guess, these big team fight drafts are a waste if you don't use them. I think it depends on your lineup overall. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. And not gonna make it out there. I guess. Uh, not to put words in your mouth, but I think what you're, what you're trying to get to is that if you have a really strong late scaling team, it's okay if you don't use your ult right, to right, late right, the game. Exactly. Right? So then it leads to the question is, does Maneski have that late scaling team? Smushi is going to get found out by Viewer Pain, so they need to come in and they have that three. Yeah. 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 I think ultra late game, if they fight on even footing, I do prefer Mineski's draft, just because they have uh, two big team fight ultimates, one of which goes through BKB and Rage, and I think uh, Marana does scale very well late game. Yep. And Venge herself also is she, she's not scaled. bad here. Yeah. Uh, she falls down after a while though, so 
I think the the real kicker for Fnatic is just that late game Queen of Pain lifesteal. Yeah. I mean, they, they did nerf it pretty heavily by moving it from 25 to 20, making that lifesteal much lower. But uh, as our observer is pointing out, Shadow Blade is up online now on Beastmaster. Gonna go back for the drum. Pissed stop before the Silver Edge. But that's gonna be one more worry for the Mineski support to deal with. Which, by the way, are already on free stamp territory. Yeah, especially Ninja Boogie. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Ohio. Shadow Blade in. He's looking. Does see Ninja Boogie on the back line, but instead think he's gonna go south. He's Moon. Once again, Moon's gonna get caught out. But gonna be available. And Moon dies once again. Look at his net worth. Below now the Beastmaster. Yeah, I believe. What was the phrase again? Body? <laughs> Body? Yeah. We're gonna need to invent new uh new words, new nouns, adjective, adverbs. What was that a verb? Body is the word. Body is yes. Elaine, another person, another body dropping the floor maybe. A bed. At this point it just it feels bad for, for Mineski. Yeah, they're, they're not getting the opportunity to use these big teamfight ultimates. There's no chance for them to sort of group up and take an objective. Uh, Fnatic is doing a really good job just dragging them across the map and then using their superior pickoff and network advantage to just take these little skirmishes here and there. Not even skirmishes, they're just getting picked off. Yeah. I think the only time that Fnatic will be vulnerable in the next maybe five minutes is when they inevitably group up for a Roshan attempt, right? Because when you're this ahead, you're going to be like, okay, well, we're going to take a couple of towers, we're going to take Rosh, and B. They're going to get caught here, Mad Special's going to be there, they drop the rock as well, but he, now he's going to just man find Mushki under the building, he's going to pop that, ooh, okay, he's going to go down, nothing to invest, DJ, now need to snowball, all the teleportations are coming in, one by one though, DJ taking a ton of damage, he will walk right out of there, Ohio also taking a ton, but he's going to be fine, he will survive, ice, ice, ice. Already blowing his ravage. Here comes Jabs. Nice two min kick. Shaolin Stalker to the rescue. Fatal Bond to extend that damage output. Somehow, some way, Mineski wins the team fight under the new shrine. Takes off great. Good stuff. Yeah, and Moon w w wasn't even there. That uh, I ex actually expected that fight to go a lot better for Natic the moment Abed came in, but Queen of Pain. She actually didn't have Sonic Wave. Yeah, I think that was actually the big thing. She she used Sonic Wave for a, a pickoff attack earlier, so. This is very good for Mineski, buying themselves more time. And they get an objective off of this. Tier 2 is very low now, bottom. No, I don't think, I don't think they can take this. And he's gonna come right back here. Full force. Nice, nice, nice. Away. Mineski's still posturing around the area, though. Face. Got a truck. He might just die here again. He doesn't have rage. Uh oh, silence is gonna come through. It is a lower duration size thanks to the new patch. Now high side side under the tower. Will good. Okay, swap back out. And now Mushi going on Envy. Envy can't armor toggle this. He's gonna be dead. And that will also be Pylite that On the back line, looks like the Tide Hunter did die to the Abed as well as the DJ ganking combination. Beast Master will on the front. That's gonna be another kill onto Mushi. In the back, Ninja Boo, he's not gonna complete that TP. Excuse me, Mushi is still alive. He's in the trees. Do they have the game sense to find him? They don't. And Mushi will probably need to sit here for a couple of seconds. <laughs> what if that ice shard? Seconds. Or 30 seconds. It might dude. be longer than that. What if that that frozen stage was just like scout him out? It's fine now, he's got shadow play out. And now immediately into the rope shot pit. Fnatic says, look, you just want to fight, you don't have ravage, you don't have rock. Free rope. This one comes to Yeah, you know, the fight that MD death. Uh, I think that's still a positive for Fnatic. The uh, attic is. When do you imagine that we'll start making that high ground push? I, it's got to be a while, right? Yeah, I, I don't think it's anytime soon. We might even get into a territory where, you know, back in the day when Leicester gets hard, 
He walks up to your tier three, rage hits it like two, three times. That's still kind of that's still kind of scary for the lifestyle because he can get swapped back. That's uh, definitely true. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, he's just already expended on the mid lane here. I bet pops the BKB, but that's physical damage. Man, that Venge hits so hard. Dude, that was a big win for Maneski. They got Aegis and a BKB charge for free. Well, back in here, highlight that's gonna go down on small. Then Maneski turning up the heat. All of a sudden, they grab two kills. Oh, Moon's gonna go down though. Okay. I don't think they can push this now. They're gonna try Moon or no Moon. Infest into one of the creatures. And we will pop up. Pop back out. Rufus going back in, yeah, looking man. for something. He's got magic missile. Got ma MOM. That's all he really needs for the kills. I like the gumption on him. The just to go for it. One of them SAT words, dude. Radiant gumption. Yeah. You don't you don't hear that in everyday use? Sure. sure. Fair. Fair. Messi will take down a very important kill one tower mid. Trying to wrestle back some map control on their side. Out of the ogre. All right, so how you feel about this game's going? The kill score is very close. Net worth is only 4k apart. We, we saw Fnatic constantly shutting down Moon. I think that's the, the real dark spot for Maneski right now. Mm -hmm. If Moon didn't have such a bad game, I think I would be favoring Maneski a lot. Right. right now, what Fnatic needs to do is really just um, sort of try and pen in Maneski, uh, keep them like afraid to come out. Because yep. right now, um, all these like little pickoffs, all these little team fight wins where they catch out Envy in the beginning, has allowed them to sort of crawl, sort of crawl their way back in. Yeah. And speaking of the pickoff, uh, I think Beastmaster's itemization is just for that, right? Like the Shadow Blade, constantly living in the enemy jungle, finding his wherever he goes. He is starting to itemize for the team fight, though. If he's going for that BKB, he realizes at some point we gotta take these guys 5 off. Yeah. I am surprised by the lack of Silver Edge. Maybe he'll go up for it after the, the BKB. But here we go. Maneski will smoke back up. Is the cheese still available on Envy? Yeah, it looks like Envy is holding the cheese. And they go all the way around. They they have a they know where Envy is right now. Yep. And that cheese is not gonna help him if he gets chased on if he can you match him. So that one wasn't looking and the ravage and the rock comes down. Two heroes. Or rather one hero dead immediately. Highlight that somehow walks away. Trying to a delay. There's no delaying this one now. Jabs is looking for more blinks and kicks. Rolls trying to find somebody. DJ has a blink of his own. He could easily snowball and blink out of there. This is a. Uh, this might get a little scary for Mineski right now. There's no Ravage, no Raw. A bet just ported in. A bet might be in trouble. He needs to activate BKB if he sees a magic missile flying. He's looking for the magic missile. Nice BKB activation in the very little second. Now he blinks right in for Bushi. Sonic Wave is available. Sonic Wave and doesn't get either kills. The TP will complete on the right side. It's going to be Tusk rolling forward. Finds Jabs here. A bet blinking to the high ground, but nice Ice Shard. Keeping Jabs stuck in. Just kidding. Jabs says, see ya. I'm out of here. And they don't lose anybody. Wait, wait, just as I say that, they will find Moon. <laughs> Moon, it's downloaded. Oh God. They know exactly where he is. He's having the roughest game right now. His team's trying to, is creating so much space for him, and he's just like, please, guys, just, just give me a break here. Uh, I, mean, I think Moon is playing a spectacular position for Marana right now. Bluff and Slough would be very proud seeing this one. He's got Mance already finished. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> Uh, in that moment though, Ninja Boogie does take does take a tower. Okay. He's got a four staff. He's come a long way since having 600 net worth. Yeah, I think he he's participated into like two game winning fights, or not game winning fights, just just like team winning fights, and he was able to pick up a lot of assist gold and and whatnot. So good stuff. Oh, Abed might be in trouble here. Jeez. Oh 
Look my at this. Deep. god. I mean, he does have a double damage, so. Oh, I, I can't even see that with the, uh... Venge is already blue. Yeah. I believe the correct color is indigo. I don't know if that's... It is it? Is it, <laughs> <laughs> it, actually is it indigo nice. purple? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I yeah, do hate they, it they, when, when people are really good with colors. In indigo City, man. Didn't Pokemon teach you your colors? I mean, I was the OG, man. I played Pokemon black and white. I didn't. You weren't the OG? I was the OG. Yeah, Indigo Indigo was in the yeah, OG yeah, version. But I know, but I played it in, like, Game Boy. Like, there, it wasn't even color back then. You, you, you weren't curious and you, you were like, what is Indigo? And you didn't look dude. it up or anything? I was just a kid that moved from China to America. Every word I didn't understand. I'm not going to look up everything, dude. <laughs> Fair enough. I can't train my Charizard to 100. If I look up shit in the dictionary. Fanatic, by the way. Okay, smoking. Once again, they find one, and that's gonna be Jackie Mao. He's dead. Oh, this is why people ban out the Venge against uh, Bushi. Look at the way he's playing. They were far, far behind. And all of a sudden, Venge, doing the Beastmaster cosplay, has picked him up a bunch of four kills on her own. You know, you would expect these teams to be playing like. Like, you would expect Fnatic to be playing like Mineski right now, and Mineski to be playing like Fnatic. Right. Where Mineski were, is sitting in their base, and Fnatic is going for kickoffs. Instead, it's, it's the other way around. Yep. And all of a sudden, table has turned, Mineski is threading high ground. They don't have Ravage, but I'm not sure whether they need Ravage. No, they definitely need Ravage, because they are is about to be back up. Mineski, you need to get out right now. And they do, very quickly, they book it. But good amount of damage onto that tier 3. I think... I think Fnatic should have tried to force a fight right there. You know Ravage is down. Roar one and, and try and go. Abed's super strong and right now I think a lot of his advantage has been squandered. I think they would have oh, went yeah. if Envy was alive, but he was... He was about to be up yeah. pretty soon. Come, pretty soon. We also haven't seen an offensive infest bomb gank yet, and now everybody walking down to Ohio sees them, and they do go right on the bench. Bench is most of the damage. The rock's gonna come down. Bench dropping very low. Any swap? No swap. He's just dead. And on the front line hitting Ice 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 of all people. Now he switches target to Ninja Boogie, but Sentry not in range to connect them with my Shadow Blitz in. Sonic Waves, absolutely nobody. He got the quarter on the back line and, and grabs them a double kill, so that's pretty good. And now they'll get a, a tier one in the back door as well. They were looking for more, but they got what they came for, which is the bench game. This is what Fnatic needed to be doing five minutes ago. Yeah. Now, Shiva's guard finish on the Queen of Pain. I feel like Queen of Pain might even want to pick up AC at this point. Just like, just any, any armor item she could get would help be, be so helpful against this game. She needs to transition into the uh, yeah. Because at this point, for the most part, their their main building hitter if they end up speaking. Ravage is now back up. So I think at most Fnatic could, could get a tier two and that's not even guaranteed. I think Fnatic probably has time to Roshan. And they know it's back up. They probably shouldn't you know look for push anymore. Oh, this is dangerous. Yeah. Envy? Oh, dude. They, they ice, want ice, this. Ice is using the Ravish animation. He's like trying to base something out. Swap, swap. Be there. Swap him. Yeah, there you oh, go. Oh, no. Yeah, he's, he's dead. dead. Oh, dude. Do you see the Midas before he died? <laughs> Efficiency. No Midas downtime. Yeah, what a great play. Die to get a Midas off. Hey, man. That's when, you know, you make a, you make a, you make something out of a bad situation. I was going to say what Fnatic needed to do around that position was try and get off a key pickoff before you go rogue. Yep, and that's exactly what they did. And guess what, Charlie? This gives them the refresher shard. I don't know if they could be too ravaged. Envy has buyback. Are they going to actually challenge this? I think they are making that attempt. Here we go. This is going to be one of the, the game deciding fights for Ohio. Access into the Roshan. They will check the HP. Swap back in, and that's the Beastmaster. He will activate the BKB. No buyback from Jackie Mao just yet. 
Ohio dropping very low. Where's the roar? Where's the roar? He finally drops the roar on an illusion just to save his life. He's out of there, but now without the roar or the BKB Master, they BKB Beastmaster, they can't really challenge. And they basically just gave away the Roche. Abed is just trying to make a steal. He does guard the vision. He jumps right in. Sonic Wave, he gets the Aegis! The buyback on Mushi as well. Oh my god! No, Sonic Wave, he ate the refreshers on our bed! It's Superman right now. He's finally out of mana. He could only blink, but he's won this team fight for his team. Move over. This guy is the real superstar on this team. A bed. Game saving oh blink. My god. Steals Aegis, steals cheese. Steals refresher shard. Steals the Roshan kill as well. Holy <laughs> shit. All right. Abed just won them the game right there. If they do win, it's, it's going to be because of that play. They were... that If Minesti had gotten the Roshan, just clean and the refresher shard, it would have been so hard for Fnatic to, to come back. Yeah, I mean, I don't think they could be double Sonic Wave, and now the Bloodlust on everybody. Here we go, Fnatic shredding buildings. That's, this is going to be multiple lanes of back. Yeah. If it's not... Oh, they can't get me, because the, the tier 2 bottom is still alive, but Fnatic very happy with two bits of rack. Ravage was actually not back up for a while, so if they want to stay around to do something more, they can, but probably the ultra safe play is to go back, take a couple more shrines. They also have seen Mushi's positioning thanks to Ward. Do they have the dust? Do they have the sentry? Pai's got two sentries. If he pop one down here... Oh god, oh. Missile, good rage. A bed pops a BKB. He's like, you know what I just said? You want to fight me still? This oh, no. man has an Aegis cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's swapping back in. That's Ohio. He's got the BKB. He's stuck in his feet right now. Blink, snowball play. Brock's going to get dropped here. I think it's time to cut their losses. No, a bed says, I have Aegis cheese. I don't care. I DC. He can pop the cheese anytime he wants. He will pop the cheese. Jabs will be the first one to go down. Ice, ice, ice. Ravage is 40. They're hanging around. All that just for one kill. Fnatic all back off safely. Oh, very unfortunate for Minesti there. I thought they had a good opportunity, but... Envy with the uh, quick reactions on that rage there. Saved his life. Alright, I know you're a personal friend of Sumail. But uh, sure. I'm gonna ask the question. It, are, you, are you asking me if... A bed is a better queen of pain, or overall than than Sumail. Put like compare compared to two players. Like I, I think most people would agree Sumail is just better, but how much? You think the gap is very far? Okay, well, I'll I'll put it this way. I don't think Sumail is going to ever lose. Like currently, right now, okay. I don't think he would ever lose a one v one straight up. Uh, to anybody. A, to anybody. Right okay. Now. But you know, overall, I mean. That's just only that's only one aspect of the game. Sure. Um, but that being said, I do think like these guys are very similar in terms of playstyle. Um, do I think Sumail could have made that play? Yes, I, I actually do. Okay. Yeah. Um, but uh, I, I I gotta say right now, Abed is. He's definitely making a case for himself, right? As... He, he he definitely is. Yeah. I got a little hype for that play, you know. I'm sure y'all at home did. And he picks up the Scythe of Ice. So that's going to be one more way to lock down that Venge or Mirana. Which, by the way, we have a Mirana in this game, right? He's got the Manta, Maelstrom, and now going back for a Hurricane Pipe. But here comes Dude, this Mirana doesn't do... The Tusk <laughs> has more net worth than the Mirana <laughs> right now. This, this is a surgical removal. They see Ice Ice in the front. There's no way they can actually go through Ice Ice Ice, can they? They have a lot of BKB. Ohio is getting the smoke pop, and now Abed blinks right in immediately. They hex up on Mushu, the Moonlight Shadow, not even fading quickly enough to protect him. Two kills, buybacks are coming out, and now Ice Ice Ice, does he want to re-engage? He can't. He's got a Shadow Strike Dagger on him, so that Blink Dagger is cancelled. All right, so that's just two clean kills. Two clean kills, excuse me, with the buyback use. And now Abed with double damage. Back door just here too. And we'll just take it cleanly here. And that's kind of something we said about the Fnatic lineup. It's it's a kill into a push. That's exactly what we see. No, I bet one more. He blinks and hex one more on the back line. The Ravage coming out a little bit too late. And as a result, a dieback on jab. A bet gives the good game to his allies. 
gets another kill for the team. Blinks forward, forced out the GG. They want Ice Ice Ice. Looks like they will not be able to get him, but they will get a GG. Fnatic forces to game three off the back of Super Saiyan 5 event. That was, uh, that was insane. Uh, that was amazing. If he doesn't make that play, I think Fnatic actually loses. I agree. I that agree. was, they, they won that game purely because of that massive Aegis steal, Refresher Shard steal, and the, it was, it was all a bet. Yeah. Uh, Nana was a non-factor in this game. Again, largely because of Abed's dominating performance mid. He did have help, but... Maybe that's the danger yeah. of picking Marana as a, as a core. You know, when she shut her down early, she does have issue catching back up, especially if she's continuously ganked. So, yeah. Well, we'll let the panel talk about that after the break, but we are going to a break. Game three is coming up after it. Uh, it should be a good one. Both these teams looking really, really strong. No, we're not going to a break for now. No, we're not. All right. What, what do you want to talk about? So, in your, if this were an anime, where are we in the arc right now? We're <laughs> in the arc. Yeah. This this is definitely an arc because this is a three game series. Er, this is the best of three. Yeah. First, Mineski wins, right? They're, oh, yeah, they're, okay, they're okay, the right. big boss. All right. And they come in. Game one. Game one.